Stranger, stranger. Now that's a weapon. The Chicago Typewriter makes its return to the Resident Evil 4 remake under the name Chicago Sweeper. This weapon is modeled after the real life M1A1 Thompson in the 1921 variant and is a weapon of many names such as Tommy Gun, The Persuader, Annihilator, and Trench Sweeper to name a few. This weapon is unlocked after completing the game on Professional with an A rank, meaning complete the game in under 7 hours. It is available for free once you unlock it in the extra content shop in the main menu. All you have to do is grab it from your typewriter storage. The Chicago Sweeper is more humble in the remake, as it starts off with low power and uses submachine gun ammunition. The best strategy to max it out its stats is to use an exclusive unlock token and focus your money into its power level. If you have zero spinals, you will have the necessary amount by the time you get to the castle, if you complete all the quests. Upgrading the power all the way takes 500,000 pesetas. The final stats are as follows. This kind of work is about finesse. Well, we've given this one all we have to give. Treat it with the respect it deserves, yeah? Power of 2.0, infinite ammo, rate of fire of 2.50, and precision of 3.0. Compared to its predecessor in the original, the stats are quite a downgrade, however, that makes the gun much more fun to use in my opinion. It's still plenty powerful, but this time around you get to play the game, not just cheese your way through it. You can stagger enemies for melee follow-ups instead of outright decimating them, and bosses still pose a challenge in some cases. The aiming bloom, however, does add an undesirable element to the game where you'll miss a lot of shots. Infinite ammo makes up for some of that, but it still can be frustrating. The Chicago Sweeper works best at close to medium range, and any enemy in that path will learn how it got its nicknames. The Chicago Sweeper is useful throughout the entire game and can easily be the only weapon you use. Up against the sub-bosses, it makes quick work. Against the main bad guys, it takes some time, but it is relentless in its approach of annihilation. There shouldn't be much trouble with using this weapon against any foe on any difficulty. That being said, all gameplay is on hardcore. Without further ado, the Chicago Sweeper against all the bosses. Jesus, cuddly bastard.
want to get ugly. Let's get ugly. Playing hide and seek, is that it? I still hold the opinion that the Chicago Sweeper is one of the coolest weapons in the game. 
This time around, since it doesn't outright decimate anything in its path in one shot, the gunplay is much more satisfying. You can still enjoy the challenge of the game while having a powerful weapon. That wraps up the weapon showcase for the Chicago Sweeper. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and stay tuned as there will be more showcases for each weapon in the game. Check the links in the description for all my Resident Evil 4 playlists for the remake and the original. Until next time.